I like my to me don't mind that let's have you questioning you you know what you should do i'm enjoying you know what she should be doing she should be on arise tv you know you know what why are you why are you are you shy you can't do that too because you know you, are you shy and not be studio but even this place come come me where she's not here they drink i'll be full ah uh, and me where they don't here they drink i'll be full not the studio now, but you've done very well. I like your yeah, yeah. Uh, chop knuckle, yeah. chop knuckle. Yeah. Come, we can promote she, you. Hello. She's showing her skills. <laughs> yeah, she's showing her skills. I yeah, mean, she is. Chop, she chop is. Knuckle. You've done well. I be chidi man. You've done well, man. Yeah. Anyway, nice one. Later. Okay, so why, why did you like, what was it about the first time that you did like, what did you do, or what happened? I was, I was, I was trying to, I was sleep, I was trying to sleep, it was midnight, so we were drunk and we had um, smoked, so I was already, like, sleepy, and then, Continue. and then I was already sleeping. Was there weed in the room? So how long, how long did you guys stay? Did you check in on Sunday? When did you die? Which day did you die? And when did you leave him? And how were you able to escape from the room after killing him or just walking? 
Well, why why was lying there? I just I changed and then I left. I looked for the key for where it is, and I left it away. So when you escaped, who did you reach out to? Where was the first place you went to? I didn't reach out to anybody. So how do you feel when you know that you have killed somebody and you just sneaked out? How do you feel at twenty one committing this this kind of crime? What did you do with the ATM letter? What is the ATM? I withdrew some money. How much? How much? About three eighty. Eighty thousand. About five million. On confirmed reports, have you that in your original account you have about 10 million naira? How did you get such amount of money? So how was it traced to you? What did you plan to do with the money? What I plan to do with the money? The money you withdrew from his account. To pay my fees. Okay, now the guy, the guy who brought the drugs, who called the guy, whose customer is that guy who brought drugs um, to you guys? It was the one that called me. I don't know. He's always having drink, um, um, smoke with him. So I don't know if that was the first time. In four months you've known him. How many times have you gone out with him? And where do you and go? And what's the difference with this particular one? We haven't, we haven't gone out like out. It's always like we can meet and then we go to the house. How did your parents get to know about this whole situation? Did you inform them yourself or how? Can you speak? It was 9 p.m. Yes. 9 p.m. Either 9 or 10. So when you uh, uh, do you live in school or you live with your parents? I stay with my parents. You stay with your parents and you left on a Sunday and this happened when? That's like three days in travel or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Where did you tell your parents you were going to? I, I told him I told him I was going for for what? Or shooting job? Yeah. Have you been doing it before? Yes, I still. Any other question? You checked in it to the shop, like, according to reports that you checked it with the foreign number. Did you have any plan to commit to Afghan? Because, of course, no, it's a little bit difficult to trace you with some foreign numbers. Is that correct? It's, it's, not, it's not difficult to trace me with the number, but I didn't have a but well, is it correct to say you, you checked in with the foreign number? That was the number I used in texting the That was the number you used? So you you have a foreign number, just is that is that it? Yes. What do you do with that foreign so what? number? Exactly. Mm -hmm. What country? What country? So why should you How even you be keeping it? Mm -hmm. How did you get the foreign number? It's an app. It's an app. Okay, there is an app. Yes, app that generates numbers. How would you do that? Yeah, yes, possible. If you don't have the data, why are you using having a number? Not a number.
what do you do with the foreign number? Why would you like just on your own decide to have a foreign number? Okay. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, are you okay? <laughs> Sorry, um All right, so you are just joining us. We are at the Lagos State Police Command uh, where the Commissioner of Police has presented the prime suspect uh, who murdered the CEO of Super TV. Uh, she was said to be seeing him, she was said to be his girlfriend, and uh, she just explained everything that happened uh, to us here. She said that uh, they were taking drugs, uh, they were, according to her, they were taking loud, uh, they were taking what she called SK, and they were also having fun and uh, she didn't want him doing more songs with her and they had an argument and she stabbed him twice. Her, her name is Chidima. She is a 300 level student of the University of Lagos. Uh, she's studying mass communication uh, in Unilag. So here she is. Uh, Chidima is her name and she has confessed to the police of truly killing uh, the CEO of Super TV. She's being taken away now. Yeah, she's about to be taken away now, and um, there she is now on a mask, and um, she explained everything that happened, uh, and also explained the last minutes of uh, the lady of um, Super TV, who, who was murdered by her. So there you have it. Uh, it's, the, it's a one-person parade here. Uh, the Commissioner of Police said he called us journalists here to interrogate the lady. And um, it was said to have happened overnight yesterday. It was an overnight mission where she was picked up uh, in the home of her parents. And uh, from that moment she was picked up up until late this afternoon she was being interrogated. Uh, she was being asked questions by the members of the Nigerian police force, especially the top members of the uh, KEDA. And uh, yes, uh, she spoke with us a few minutes ago, confirming that she truly was the one who uh, killed the CEO of Super TV. Uh, she said they were having drugs, uh, they've been hanging out uh, before what happened over the weekend did happen they they've known each other for a while she said um she was introduced to him by her friends and when we asked her what her parents thought or where her parents thought she was uh, she said that they thought she went for an ushering job and uh, she used to freelance in that particular business 
Uh, but that was not the case, as uh, she was away with her sugar daddy, having fun and uh, smoking. Unfortunately, it ended in a very controversial way, and one of the duo lost their lives. Uh, she said um, he was the late uh, CEO of Super TV, he was the one who ordered for the drugs that they were smoking, and uh, we got unconfirmed reports that uh, when the uh, accounts, account numbers were traced, uh, that she indeed had about 10 million naira in her account, but she denied it and said she didn't have that much. Uh, she also denied the news that had been making the rounds that five million naira was not in her account. Uh, she didn't withdraw five million naira from his account, but that it was 380,000 naira that she withdrew. Uh, when I asked her what she wanted to do with the money, she said she wanted to pay her school fees with the money. So we are just joining us. Her name is Chiriuma. Uh, she's a 21-year-old. Uh, the police uh, spokesperson said she was born in the year 1999. And she's a 300-level student of the University of Lagos studying mass communication. The drilling is over. The questions are over. The commission of police is done. And uh, she will soon be taken away from these premises. But at the moment she's still here, she's in this van uh, right in front of me. Uh, I report to Chimia that the police officials will be ferrying away from this location soon. Uh, but there you have it the 21 year old Chidima, a University of Lagos mass communication 300 level undergraduate. As just been paraded to the press and this is an unusual parade uh, this is a one person parade usually we have uh, people sitting down and being interrogated suspects being interrogated but this is not a usual interrogation uh, because of how urgent uh, this particular case is so Chinema is being ferried away now and, uh, We'll be following this case up, Trust Punch to always give you updates as we always do. And um, we'll be giving you updates as regards this case and of course several other cases as we always do. Uh, there you have it, she's being taken away from these premises. <laughs> Thank you very much for being a part of this. Uh, trust us to to always, uh, always, 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 always give you the latest as regards reports happening around the country, as regards stories eating up our polity, and this. is one of the many things we do. Uh, my name is Sheikh Godwin, on behalf of the entire team. I'm saying a very big thank you to you, our viewers. Have yourselves a fantastic and lovely afternoon. Bye for now.